Hello everyone, that's Dr. Juwan. Thank you for turning in to my channel. If you haven't done so already, four things. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, the like button, and leave a comment. I like answering the questions and comments, but if you need to have a consultation because it's too, too detailed, please go to my webpage and hit the consultation button. I'd love to see if I could help you out. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? How's it going? Doing good? Going good? Good. Why don't you tell them? Oh, I'll tell them about the store. Yeah, we have an online store. So if you follow the link down below to Fullscript, there's over 300 brands that you could choose from. And remember, do the research because we could only do so much, but we can't do your job. So definitely do the research and enjoy the store over 300 brands. Hey, what's going on? Who's this guy? What? You said store, right? I'm for the food. Food? You can't have a store without any food. No. I want the food. It's a Who's supplement store. Got my plate. Store? Food? Oh, online store. <laughs> Crazy. Get out of here. All right. Get out of here. No. Not a, <laughs> not a food store. I get it now. All right. Thank you for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. A viewer wrote in and asked, how about doing a video on TMG? Trimethylglycine. Like, what's that? So definitely did the research on it, and I recommend, I actually I picked a couple bottles up myself because the dosage is high, and it varies, and I'll get to that at the end. But what it does, it helps reduce homocysteine levels in the system. Now, what is homocysteine? Homocysteine is a inflammatory marker. Basically, it's a vascular inflammation marker. When I'm talking about vascular inflammation is that you have your arteries, it's like a pipeline. And when things get dysfunctional, the blood that goes through the pipeline is a lot thicker, and what it does, it nicks the inside of the lining of the arterial system, which will increase homocysteine levels. One of the ways, there's many other different ways to increase homocysteine levels, and I'm not going to get into that in this video, but if, you're, if you have chronically high homocysteine levels, this is a supplement for you because it will help reduce those levels, which will reduce the chance of anything that's heart related. So it's otherwise known as betaine, and it's not betaine hydrochloride. I did a video before about betaine HCL. This is not it. Trimethylglycine, what is it? Tri, meaning three. Methyl, methyl groups, so you have three methyl groups. Glycine, and that's part of the amino acid, glycine, which is phenomenal for the system in itself. It's involved in a chemical process called methylation. Now, I'm not gonna get into methylation, but methylation, what it does, it's essential for our DNA production. It's like a railroad switch. Sometimes it goes this way, sometimes it goes this way to help our bodies, the chemical messengers, and involved with the DNA production. So where can TMG be found naturally? Foods. Now again, there, there a lot of nutrients can be found in leafy green vegetables, which a lot of people don't like leafy green vegetables. A lot of people don't like vegetables anyways, but you got to. Vegetables are loaded with vitamins and minerals, especially beets, beef, spinach. I put spinach twice. <laughs> Broccoli and wheat bran. The leafy green vegetables are loaded with TMG, which is phenomenal. Remember, the system in itself. So what are the benefits of taking TMG? Benefits are, now there's a lot of benefits, and if you have some benefits that I missed, please write them in the comments below because people like to read stuff, and if you benefit from TMG, then they could, you could benefit others. It enhances heart health. Why does it enhance heart health? Well, because over here, it lowers the homocysteine levels, which in turn also will lower blood pressure. Homocysteine is a vascular inflammatory marker, and if you have too high homocysteine levels, it can lead to heart disease. In addition, it boosts athletic performance. Why? Because it helps reduce fatigue, boost protein production, and increase creatine synthesis in the mitochondria. Creatine synthesis in the mitochondria helps produce what's called the ATP, which is called our energy currency. Healthy insulin levels, so it's great for diabetics, for insulin resistance, for type 1, for type 2, type 1.5.
because you want to control blood sugar because it decreases the sugar levels in addition because it makes your body more insulin sensitive and less insulin resistant. In addition, antidepressant. Antidepressant, like a natural antidepressant. Now, I did, a, I did a video with Sam E, about Sam E, and that's phenomenal for mood. So double that, take that with Sam E, that will only enhance the effects of Sam E as a natural antidepressant. Reduces muscle loss. This is muscle loss when it talks to, not when you're talking about bodybuilders taking time off. Yes, it is. Also, I'm talking about people who don't work out or are sick or have some type of condition where you have muscle wasting. Reduces muscle loss. Why? Because it helps produce collagen. I thought this is phenomenal. TMG helps produce collagen, which collagen is part of muscle rebuilding. In addition, reduces allergies and gut symptoms. If you have allergies outside the weather, if you have gut symptoms due to, if you have a food sensitivity, what this does, it decreases the histamine release in our body so it helps control the allergic response in the body and the gut much better. Okay, so the magic question, dosage. How much do I take for this? How much do I take for that? The average dose is anywhere from 750 milligrams to 3,000 milligrams a day. Now, I take... 1.5, I take 3,000 milligrams and I take 1.5 grams twice a day in the morning. So I take it once I wake up in the morning and once about noon. Because the trimethylglycine, it actually will give your, give your body energy. So you don't want to take this before bedtime. So it depends on your condition. It varies. If you're trying to reduce homocysteine levels, you want to take anywhere from 3 grams to 6 grams a day in divided doses and that will help reduce the homocysteine levels. All right, how about if you're just trying to improve your overall day with less fatigue and more energy and more cognitive benefits? Then you wanna reduce it. 2,500 milligrams a day is perfect in divided dosage. So 1.250 milligrams twice a day, morning, noon, to help just improve your overall daily performance is great. TMG, wow, thank you very much for that viewer to write in. Definitely, it's been an improvement on my supplement program. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching the video.